In this video, we're going to take the Retrocade, which only comes with 90 titles, and we're going to supersize it and install the ultimate Retrocade game pack, which is going to turn it into 6,500 games, including Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Arcade Classics, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color. And all that can be done with a short three-minute tutorial right here. The rest of the video is just showcasing it off, so let's get into it. What's up YouTube? Okay, here I am on my computer with a Windows Explorer open and as you can see I am on my USB drive but really it's a micro SD card. I just have it in a USB adapter and it's a 64 gigabyte but just so you know all you need is a 16 gigabyte to hold all these games. What, are, what exactly is in the pack? There's 791 NES games, 778 SNES, 682 Genesis, 861 Game Boy, 535 Game Boy Color, 1066 Game Boy Advance, 905 arcade titles, 5618 titles total. It comes out to 14.5 gigabytes on your SD card, so most 16s would work, 32 would work just fine. A couple special thanks to some of the people on the team who did this, Adam, Virgil, Yannick, and some unknown participants as well. So thank you to those guys. I'll put a link in the description to this as well. The, the It might change. It might turn into a torrent or something like that. I'll make sure to keep it updated. But here are your ROM packs. They're going to come as zip files. I just right click it and then do download and then I get them that way. Those are all downloaded. Here's an example of the Game Boy one. I downloaded all uh, six of them and you will have to unzip them. You just double click with WinZip or you can use 7-Zip and then drag and drop the whole folder. Inside the folder you're going to see not only the game the file, but also the matching artwork. So matte artwork already done for you. It should look something like this. Um, now as far as your micro SD card, you need to create a new folder and you need to name it Retro Bit Games. You can see I already started it here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this, but basically you do new folder, rename, and then Retro Bit Games, and then enter. But I already did that. Okay, so you don't need this. I just want to show you what those look like. Okay, so all you need is the Retro Bit Games while that's deleting. So unfortunately, from what I've seen, I think you ha you can't use folders. Whenever I use folders, I run into issues on my micro SD card. So I just dropped all my Game Boy, all my arcade, all my Game Boy Advance, all 5,000 titles in this folder right here. Basically, I just un unzipped those files, dropped them in there, removed them out of the folder, and put them all just in the retro bit games folder. Just dropped all of them, Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, everything. Once you're done with that, we literally can just unplug this mic this SD card, it should be a full SD card, and plug it into our RetroBit when we have our RetroBit on. So let's go over to our RetroCade by RetroBit. All right, we're booted up, and we have all these titles now, over 5,000 games on our Dreamcade replay. If you boot up the Dreamcade with your SD card already inserted, it's going to take a lot longer to boot up because it has to index all these games. It's going to take about two to three minutes. It does take a little bit of time to get all these on there. The less games you have, you put from the pack, the faster it'll load. If you want to go back to stock, you don't you want to play the stock games, which you wouldn't want to because this has the stock games on there. But if you did want to or you want to sell the unit, all you gotta do is eject that SD card and you're back to normal. So awesome feature there. So as you can see, damn, right? Damn, damn, damn. So let's try a game out. Marvel vs. Capcom. Here's an arcade game out of the 900 arcade games that we added to it. And you're going to notice it's going to stretch out here. This is the default for um, the Dreamcade. If we want to um, play it without stretch, we, what we do is hit select right here, go over to video, go to original size, confirm this, go back, and then load this again. And as you can see now, we have some black space on the left and the right and so it's no longer stretching the game. So you have this option for all your games. I highly recommend doing this for arcade games, especially games like 1942, 1943, where they're more vertical, hor or vertical, not horizontal games. They just look a lot better and the screen isn't stretched. With a game like this, it looks good either way, in my opinion, and it depends on what size monitor you're using. So on an arcade game, select is gonna be your coin insert. And as you can see, it's running really good. Um, this this game actually does run really well, especially on this little computer. All right, so as you can see, we're loading up. There, I've noticed like a very very like it's like 90% this game, 90%, which is like you know most people are not going to tell the difference. Maybe some purists out there, but how cool is it 
That's his little $60 computer, plus the $10 micro SD card. I've been saying 65 in my other videos, because where I was, it cost me $5 in tax, so 65. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it's playing just fine. There we go. All right, so start select. We can save our state. We can leave very easily. And there you have it. Um, something that I don't like about this is that it takes a really long time to, to get, there's no like organization, for example, you know, so it takes you a lot longer to get in here. But if you guys were wondering, I mean, it has all your favorite games, all your Street Fighters, your Alphas, your um, Street Fighter Tur tu tu Turbo, your WWF games, and then we go into Super Nintendo here, and then from Super Nintendo we'll go in, but that's how it's sorted, by the way, it is alphabetical and it's by system. So what I think what it's doing is it's taking the file extensions you know, so a, a dot S, .srm for Super Nintendo, a dot .zip for the arcade, and so it's sorting it out that way. So you can see once we get through here, we should get to like a Game Boy or something like that pretty quickly. So we just left one, okay, and now, okay, now we're in Game Boy Advance, for example. So a Game Boy Advance game, Atari Anniversary Advanced. And again, it's stretched, but you remember we, we showed you earlier in this video that you can unstretch it very easily, and now we're playing... Game Boy Advanced. We can go ahead and return back to the main menu and we can scroll all the way down. Remember there's 1,066 Game Boy Advance games so it's going to take me a while to get through here but after Game Boy Advance comes um, actually I actually think this might be a new system right here too and then then comes uh, Genesis. So there's some more arcade games it looks like. Arcade, 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 arcade. Okay now more Game Boy Advanced. Right, it's definitely Arca Game Boy Advance because they have those video files. I'm hard scrolling right now, so I'm not giving it time to load all the images. I've noticed there are a few images missing as well as the images wrong, but it's for usually obscure games. All the games you guys are probably going to be playing, the majority of people watching, the, the, the artwork is there. And that's because a lot of people will use those games fairly regularly. All right, we're almost done, which will get us... Okay, we're almost... Okay, there we go. Ants, okay. Um, a Bug's Life, Cats... Donkey Kong Country. Oh, now we're in Game Boy, it looks like. Yep, Zelda. Pokemon. Okay. Some more Game Boys. Pong. Alright, we just did a Game Boy. It looks like Game Boy Color. WWF. Alright, and now we're in Sega. Because I wanted to look for Contra Corpse. There you go. Contra Hard Corpse, which is a Sega Genesis game. I'm going to just show you that Genesis works as well. Again, it's going to stretch that image out, which is totally fine on these console games. But if you want, you can have it with the... Um, you can have it without that as well. All right, let's do it. Let's kill the robots. So as you see running just like your original Sega. There are no shaders. For those of you wondering about shaders, there are no shader support with this particular system. That's one of the limitations of it. You can save your state though. It is a little bit um, it is a little bit slow compared to like the Raspberry Pi for example or emulating on your computer. But again, you know, like like I've been saying, it's sixty dollars. Okay, so this runs good, you see start select out, you can save, you can change your buttons, return to main menu. You can use your own custom controllers as well. I'll have a video coming up soon about which controllers work. I've got about 10 controllers I want to test on here. So that about does it, guys. Uh, the pros are super, super cheap, super easy to do. Drag and drop. It's awesome. The things I don't like about it is you can't use this filter button in lower right. You can't filter these games at all. I haven't found a way to use any kind of file system. If you can use folders, I can definitely see it, this being really great. But otherwise, i got to just hold my up button right now. Let's say I want to go back to the, the arcade games. i just got to hold up, you know, which isn't that bad. Like, I think I can pro it'd probably take me, like, what, 15 to 30 seconds. It's a small price to pay. But for a lot of people out there, it might be really annoying, especially with RetroPie, it's being so much easier. So the reason I like this is it's really simple to do. It gets you going. And it doesn't permanently hack anything. It's just... Ejector, if you like, watch. I'm going to take out my micro SD card right now. I just did it, and bang, I'm back into back into my retrocade. And um, you know, I can still play all these games just to show you, you know, go goals and ghosts, 
you know, I can start the game. There you go. And now I'm in Ghouls and Ghosts. So it doesn't mess up the system at all, and you can just add that on. Okay, so there I am. I'm in the game. Let's go ahead and leave here. So that about does it, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Big shout-out to the people that made this possible. It's so cool, really easy to do, and uh, you know it really just gives people another option, and that's always a good thing. With all that, we'll catch you on the next one.